Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing this look right here. I was looking at my videos and realized that everything I did so far has had like a nude lip or a pink lip. So I want to do something bold and fun. I use the L'Oreal La Palette Nude One. Um, this is my first time using it on camera so I didn't really know what I was going to do. But I knew I wanted to use this and I ended up doing this smoky bronzy look. I absolutely love it. I feel like this look, if you did pair it with a nude lip, could be like a daytime smoky eye. So my next video, I'm definitely going to do a nighttime smoky eye. Like I'm talking black on black on black on black on black. That's it. So yeah, I hope you guys like this look. Um, please subscribe. This look, um, this look, girl, please. This video is featuring my daughter because my two kids were fighting in the next room. So I had to bring one of them in here and put her in her high chair and she ate my beauty blender. You will see that coming up. And Hi everyone. So we're just going to start off with the brows. That's what I always like to start off with. So I'm just going to take the spoolie side of the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to brush out my brows and, you know, prep them to fill them in with my It Cosmetics Build a Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. See how I have like a little space right there? They're a little bit wonky. We're going to fix that. And I wish my brows were like bigger and bolder, but this is all I got right now. So I'm just going to dip any angled brush into it and I'm just going to line the bottom, line the top, and then start feathering it in. And I personally like to block off my brows in the front. I don't like that faded in look. I, it drives me insane. I like big, bold statement brows. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. After I have them filled in the way that I like, I like to just go back through. Just to even out the product, comb out if um, there was like too much in one spot. And then I like to set my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in chocolate. I don't know why I looked at it like I don't use it every day. Now I'm going in with my Becca concealer in the shade Honeycomb and a little synthetic brush that looks like a little paint brush. It's like this. I think it's a lip brush, but you know, I never use any of my brushes for what they're actually supposed to be used for. I'm just going to get a, some product on here. Ugh. Like this. I'm just going to carve out. So I'm going to go right under that line that I made to do my brows just to make it look cleaner. And I only do it underneath and a little bit on the tail if I like need to fix the shape to make it sharper. Like how this one's skinnier and cleaner than that one. So that's what this will help with. And I also don't care about how light it is because I use the same concealer as my eyeshadow base. So you can't tell by the time that I'm done with, you know, my makeup and my eyeliner and all that. You can't even tell. So don't worry about that. But if you're not gonna end up blending it out afterwards, if you want a more natural look, you can just use your foundation to carve this out as well. It'll give you the same effect. I mean, this looks a little bit um, brighter, more of like, you know, that freshly waxed look or so I want to say. I think it makes it pop more, but it looks really nice with foundation as well. Actually looks a little more natural, but you guys know I'm all about not looking natural on my channel. I just think that looks so much cleaner and more polished. No, that one's just like, oh, hey, I'm a brown. This one's like, yonks. You guys know if I have an excuse to say that word, I will. With that same Becca concealer, I'm just going to use it as an eyeshadow primer. And just put this all over my lid. See, now that highlight doesn't look so crazy on the brows because now it's all over your lid. And I think I'm going to do like a super glam look 
like neutral smoky eye maybe I don't know something like that then just going in with a powder brush and um, this shade in the Kat Von D palette this first one called mm -hmm. tell me how that's the only name that I have that's worn off so the lightest shade the lightest highlighted shade I'm just gonna take that and set my eye primer because I find that when I don't it's my eyeshadow skips and looks a little splotchy so putting this down as a base is really nice you can use any kind of bone shadow like bone colored shadow or like whatever you're more comfortable with but yeah so for this look I'm going to be using the L'Oreal palette nude one this is gonna be my first time using it so I'm excited and there's no names there's just numbers so I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here this matte taupey like soft brown color on a MAC 217 brush a dirty MAC 217 brush and just put that into my crease I'm just going to use this as a transition shade so I don't really care if it's like too too blended right now because the amount of blending that we're going to be doing this look or what I'm anticipating that we're going to be doing this look I'm not really like stressing out like it's really I really wish I would have thought out a plan I'm just going to do a matte smoky eye because I don't know what else to do with my life right now so um no, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Do a rose gold one. No, I'm not. Because I just did a copper tutorial. Sons of bitches. I can do a dark sparkly smoky eye. Boom. This color. All over the lid. It's happening right now. Okay, I lied. These two colors. The gold and the dark brown, they're both shimmering. I'm gonna mix those on a flat brush and pack it on the lid. There's no going back. That's actually really freaking pretty. I like that. Those are really pigmented. I'm kind of like. No, I don't want to say I'm shocked because the L'Oreal infallible like pressed pigments and their loose pigments are absolutely amazing. And the fact that they came out with a palette is really cool because I have two hard candy palettes and I epically hate them both. And the Maybelline's the blush nudes palette, love it. So when I saw this, I was like, yes. And Yes. Color right here, next to the shade that we used, we used this one for our crease. I'm gonna go in with this one and put it in the outer corner. Within Real Techniques base shadow brush, which is weird because it's tapered and pointed and works amazing for creases and outer corners. Going back and my daughter's literally like like I can touch her with my with my hand my youngest ones in our high chair so if my camera gets knocked over my lighting starts messing up or you hear a baby screaming it's because she's literally two feet from my camera so back to what we were doing we are going to now highlight our brow bone can we just like start a hashtag like mom life be like or not just saying. I'm going to use this first shade 
right here. It looks white on camera, but it's has like a champagne -y, um, champagne -y like freckles, 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 speckles to it. Specks, speckles, sparkles, something. There, there. We're just gonna put this on zebra bowl. Like, do any of you watch the following? Because if you do, and you watched it last night, <sighs> that's all I have to say. And if you do watch it and you didn't see last night's episode, let me know and I'll give you my Hulu information because you need to see it. Like, everything I thought that I knew in life, I don't. It was all a lie. So, Going in with my NYC liquid liner in black, I'm going to do my winged liner. I've been doing pretty good with that bad boy on camera, and probably since I just said that just now, it's going to be horrible. Anything that I do with my brows, I do with my winged liner. So I'm just going to take that brush that I use. Before the same brush, the same concealer, the Becca Honeycomb Concealer. I just like it because it's super thick, so um, I don't feel like it's too watery. I feel like I have more control over it, and I'm just going to... Clean up the wing. This sharpens the wing and also erases any shadow that um might be like right there underneath from you blending. So next I'm gonna put on lashes and blah blah blah, y'all know the drill. The Ardell 365 Spiky Collection. Right next, we're gonna do foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in W7. That is my color right now. Not like right now, like today, because I was at the beach yesterday for like six hours. So, um, none of my foundation matches me, but that's okay. Oh, shoot. That's what bronzer's for. Time to dot to do face. Next, I'm going in with my Master Conceal in Light Medium. And we're gonna use that to highlight the fist. She's rubbing it on her face. Can you guys see her? <gasps> yeah, you do a makeup like mommy. You do it here. You look so pretty. You do makeup like mommy. She's freaking cute. So going in with my Sonia Cash brush in number 29. I'm gonna take the shade Lyric from the Kat Von D palette and just set everywhere that I highlighted. Under my highlight. Under my highlight. Wow. Under my eyes. Then going in with my Real Techniques contour brush and the shade Sombre, which is the darkest shade in the Kat Von D palette. I'm just gonna contour my cheeks. And I'm gonna try something new today and not flick it up like I normally do. I'm just gonna leave She totally just bit a piece out of my boot. <laughs> Real life problems. I'm gonna take my NYX blush in the shade Mocha and I'm just gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks and kinda blend that into my contour instead of blending my contour up and see if that looks well. If it still looks streaky by the end, then I'll know not to do it again, but I just, I wanna learn new techniques. I wanna try new things, so. I'm just gonna put that right there kind of like swirl it in so I want to keep that harsh line on the bottom but I don't want it to be on the top I don't think that came out too bad kind of happy with it actually and I just realized I didn't prime my face so maybe you should do that that's what happens when you're tired here I'm just gonna be using a fluffy contour brush with the elf pink tastic date 
blush. I'm using this as a highlighter because it looks like a highlighter. This part was a voiceover because my daughter was screaming. Now going back into that, um, the news palette, I'm gonna take the dark matte color that we use um, for our outer corner. I'm gonna put that under our eyes after I smudge some black liner under there. So I'm gonna be using the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in the shade Plush Plum. Using the liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Sad Girl, which is this deep purpley reddish shade with flicks of pink glitter in it, and it looks absolutely amazing. It doesn't look how you think it would when I describe it. Last, we're gonna set with Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Hope you guys enjoy this look please keep watching and thank you guys so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed do it and if you don't want to then i understand you suck love you guys bye